Hello viewers, welcome again to my uh, YouTube channel of Cancer Topics. I'm Dr. Abdul Khayyum. I'm a medical oncologist. I bring you these videos to um, inform you about several aspects of the cancer uh, and it includes the um, aspects of cancer diagnosis and treatment. If you like these videos, then kindly subscribe to the channel. Today we'll talk about the relationship of hormones and the risk of uh, breast cancer. Let me first explain uh, explain the uh, nature of hormones. Hormones are chemical compounds which are synthesized or made in uh, several tissues or glands of the body and then released into the blood. Um, they circulate in the blood and then launch into the tissues where uh, they have to act uh, and they modify and they regulate function of several um, uh, tissues and organs. In, uh, in the context of breast cancer, we are talking about the hormones, so-called sex hormones, which are uh, estrogens and progesterones. These are mainly made in adrenals and ovaries in the body. The, the, the synthesis um, of uh, these hormones is regulated by a small gland uh, located below the brain inside the head, um, which acts upon uh, pituit, uh, ad, uh, ovaries and adrenals to regulate the formation of these hormones. Now, when we talk about um, the, no, before that, uh, these hormones um, actually have important role in the cyclic function of the uh, uterus, so-called periods, and also uh, in pregnancy. They also affect uh, the growth of uh, bone um, and uh, as have several other effects. When we talk about breast cancer, then uh, it is known for some time that uh, breast cancer is regulated by uh, these hormones. So these hormones are necessary uh, to continue the growth of the uh, breast cancer. Although there are uh, variants of breast cancer which are not sensitive to these hormones and are not regulated by these hormones, uh, but most breast cancers are. So in generally, we say that breast cancer is a hormone sensitive cancer. Um, to check whether a breast cancer is hormone sensitive or not, we take tissue which is taken through biopsy or by surgery and we check it in the laboratory for hormone sensitivity. Now this is the, because the hormones act through a protein which is called a receptor. These proteins are located on, in the cells and they receive the hormones and after that hormones perform their function. So we check the tumor cells in the laboratory whether they express these receptor proteins and normally we check breast cancer tissue for estrogen receptors and progesterone receptors. Not only the expression of the uh, receptor protein but also the strength of the expression that how much protein is there on, on the cell is also important. Both of these factors means presence or absence of this protein and the um, strength of the uh, uh, presence of the protein are important when we consider treatment after removing breast cancer to decrease the chances of uh, the cancer returning back. Now the relationship of breast cancer with hormones is also indicated by higher risk uh, in ladies who have more exposure to estrogens. These include ladies who start their cyclic periods, so-called menarche, before 15 years of age, or who attain their menopause when the periods are naturally um, uh, are stopped uh, at age of uh, uh, greater than 55 years, so so-called late menopause. 
also women who um, don't have children so called nulli parity and who give uh, who have first child born at uh, higher age more than 30 years Uh, so these this whole group has higher uh, risk of breast cancer because of more exposure of tissues in the body to estrogens and progesterone it has been shown by studies that uh, if the blood levels of estrogen is high there's a risk of uh, there's higher risk of breast cancer it's very common that uh, when uh, women attain their menopause uh, there are several symptoms which come about uh, to name a few these include generalized aches and pains joint pains uh, women remain um, some women become uh, irritated irritative uh, sometimes women complain of depression hot flashes and also uh, insomnia so the for, uh, there is also higher risk of heart disease and osteoporosis in these women after menopause now if the symptoms are really bothering then these symptoms are treated by so called hormone replacement therapy hrt hrt contains estrogens and or progesterones there is a very famous study called women health initiative study and they actually checked the relationship be- between hormone replacement therapy and breast cancer and they found that long term hormone replacement with combined estrogen and progesterone leads to at least 24% increase in abnormal mammograms and risk of breast cancer there was another study called million women study which is quite uh, famous and is quoted very oftenly and this study showed that the risk is higher when combined estrogen and progesterone preparations are used than the preparations uh, which include estrogens only now um, you can see this graph on your screens where the risk is shown when different type of hormone replacement uh, treatment is used the hormone replacement therapy pills which contain only estrogens have about 1.5 time risk than a normal population of breast cancer whereas if the pills contain both estrogens and progesterone the risk is a twice higher than the normal population another thing which need to be considered is contraception we know that the women uh, the contraceptive tablets uh, contain hormones um breast cancer risk is uh, increased by these tablets although if the tablets are stopped the treatment is stopped or the use of contraceptive is stopped the risk of breast cancer decreases and becomes nearly zero after 2 to 5 years we um, very often see in clinics patients who had breast cancer in the past underwent surgery and adjuvant treatments um, but they are still young and they uh, they can uh, um, increase their f- number of uh, the family members uh, by having more children we do if they ask question about contraceptives we advise them to use non hormonal contraceptives if needed and not to use contraceptives which uh, contain uh, contain estrogens and progesterones interestingly androgens which are male hormones are also related to risk of breast cancer um well actually it's not the risk of breast cancer which is related to androgens but it's the growth of breast cancer so some um, breast cancers show that they uh, are sensitive to androgens the effect of androgen is actually mediated through the protein uh, which receives estrogen called estrogen receptor so 
sometimes when treating uh, patients we come to a point where we need to check the biopsy or, or the or the tumor uh, tissue for um, androgen expression and if they are positive for androgen uh, receptors then we uh, tailor treatments according to the results this is a rare scenario though um, but we do come across occasionally patients where we need to use anti-androgens for uh, disseminated and metastatic breast cancer. Thank you very much for viewing, uh, for viewing this um, video. If you like the video, kindly press uh, like button and uh, also subscribe to the channel so that you receive future videos in time. Thank you.